car has to be mounted so that the lever is supported by the highest supporting block. Screw the part with the four threaded pins provided, as shown. To check the height of the assembled part, put the lever straight, screw the Gonago gauge to prevent it from falling and slide it over the lever. If the lever enters the first section of the gauge and is topped on the second, then its height is correct. The Gonago gauge on the other tower is used to check the position of the slider shaft on the assembled part. Slide the Gonago gauge. If the part enters in the gauge, then it's correctly positioned. Now, we're going to check the pushing and pulling policy of the assembled part when putting in gear and going back to neutral. When moving the dynamometer, you'll see that the light connected to the switch lights up. It indicates the middle point of the movement. You have to write down the value measured at this precise moment. The dynamometer is hooked to the part with this adapter. To make these measurements, you have to mount a connecting block on the part to touch the switch and the guiding block to have a straight lateral movement when moving with the dynamometer. To do so, first screw the two parts of the connecting block on the assembled parts so that it's half screwed. Then, position it correctly by using the guiding rod on the left side of the part. Slide the rod and screw it. Then, position the parts th so that the connecting block is perfectly leaned against it. Finish to screw the connecting block and slide back the rod. Second, unscrew the guiding block, slide it to position the assembled part and screw to fasten the block. Screw the adapter on top of the part. Then, mount the hook of the dynamometer on the adapter and place it on its tower. Push and pull the dynamometer. Each time the light turns on, write down the value indicated by the dynamometer. Once the measures are done, unscrew the guiding block, slide it back and screw it to the tower. Afterwards, mount the dynamometer on the other tower to check the forces of the lateral movement of the assembled part. Once you're done, take off the dynamometer and store it in its suitcase. Finally, this checking fixture enables to check the forces when putting the rear gear. Technometrics designed a system representing the movement from neutral to rear gear. Take off the dynamometer adapter. Mount the system. Fasten it with a pin located on the right side of the checking fixture. Take off the connecting block. Mount the hook on the ring on top of the system. Move it up and down to measure the force. Devastate. 
on behalf of Technometrics, we thank you all for your attention.